Hi everybody, welcome. It's Saturday night, November blank. I don't even know, to be honest with you, what day it is. Um, welcome, you guys, let's paint. I mean, let's just, let's just get right into it and no small talk, like cut to the chase, lady, right? So I have um, YouTube going on right here, guys. I have Facebook going on right here, and I thought, let's just do both of these right now. So thanks for being here, you guys. I have um, coming on kind of late tonight because I've been um, in Dallas, actually. We had a family event in Dallas, so we drove to Dallas, hung out with the family, ate, opened gifts because we did an early Christmas, and then we are back home. Um, so I'm live here tonight. Thanks for being here with me. Thank you for the likes and the hearts that I have already seen. Um, and there are 17 of you on YouTube with a thumbs up. Wendy Miller. Hi. So glad that you are here. So Friday night on Friday Night Live that I was, I was here with Quita Allen of All Shoved Out and we were on Facebook. Um, for YouTube guys, thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you. That makes me feel good and, um, I appreciate it. So we were here. Friday Night Live, which actually we're here every Friday night at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Central Time, okay, YouTubers? If you wanna see that live, you have to actually go over to Facebook or you can wait. I usually upload my video for you YouTubers as well. So we were painting. What we did this time is she took a piece of artwork that she um, you know, had set on for a while. She had a new vision for it. So I had a new vision for this piece. Actually, this is the base coat of my new finish. This is the top coat of my old finish. So I've lightly sanded the whole piece. I came down to about here and stopped. You can kind of see this kind of green, creamy color. It's all the old, okay? And so, guys, it sat on it, I sat on it, I sat on it, and I thought, you know what, I'm really not in love with it. There are some bird stamps up there. I just, I didn't, I don't know, it didn't mesh, it hasn't sold. So we're painting it again, and that's to prove my point. Guys, don't stress out about it. If you're learning a new technique, you're trying something new, and you just you just wanna play in the paint, then just do it, okay? Just do it because it can be painted over. So this was a new color combination that I had never tried. I'm using all DIY paint. It's all I ever use. Hi, hi, j -Po. Um It's all I ever use. Um, it's perfect for my style of blending. And now, granted, this, okay, is the base coat, okay? So I always tell people, guys, if you're gonna really create something that is a piece of art, which is what I use all of my pieces for, I create every, or I, I, um, I envision every single piece of furniture as a piece of canvas or an artwork, right? So this is the backdrop, this is just kind of the stage, okay? So after I get all of this done, and I can completely get the top the way I want it, I'm gonna come back. Oh, thank you so much, thank you. Um, it's really in its ugly, awkward stage though. I'm not gonna lie, it's really in an ugly, awkward stage. So I'm gonna come back in once we finish this. We'll do this tonight. We're gonna do the very bottom. Um, I have uh, my Paint Pixie, I have my French Tips, I have my Synthetics tonight. I'm actually working with the Synthetic tonight. And then I'm going to grab um, my Dusty, which is a Paint Pixie brush as well. And then I'm gonna grab my Handy Dandy Petty Knife, which is the one thing that got me started um, with layering and, and really putting other colors on tops of e top of each other's and really giving your furniture a kind of a work of art, almost. Um, an artistic finish that can't really be duplicated with a brush. So the main thing is once you start using this guy, leave the brush alone. Don't, go, don't come back to the brush. That's the main thing that I want you to take away from this. So what we're gonna do, like I said, we started this the other night, or I started this, nobody was here, it was just me. Um, I started this the other night, and what you can see on screen is Bohemian Blue, which is our dark, deep teal. It's my number one favorite color. Then over here, I have a little bit of our Summer Crush, which is an orange. There's Marquee. I can see a little bit of Old 57, which is our cool turquoise. Um, I see a little bit of that Old 57 here. I see a little more of the Summer Crush right here, and it just kind of goes down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull the Bohemian Blue down a little bit further, and then I'm gonna layer our Black Velvet over it. So the bottom is gonna be Black Velvet, okay? The whole bottom, but you can see it's like, it's like this, right? Because if you picture an old door or a shutter or um, something that's been outside weathering in the, um, in the rain and the moisture over time, it's gonna wear and that's when it gets good. 
in my opinion. Like that's when the good stuff starts setting in. Um, when it's perfect, that's good. That's for a time and place. But when I love to use all these colors, I like to use all these tools um, and really create a one of a kind finish. So armoires like this, wardrobes like this have been sitting in thrift stores, antique stores for years and nobody wanted them, right? So Matt and I are taking them. I'm giving them a new finish and he's installing shelves in them. Sometimes we're taking out the hardware, but this one's got two new um, shelves on each side of it so you can still hang your long pieces down the center um, but Matt installed two, two um, sides so you can either put boots or shoes or sweaters or you could use it as a linen closet and and anyway the shelf kind of opens up more possibilities for what the piece can be used for so the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my bohemian blue and I'm gonna reactivate this with just a little bit of water and then I'm gonna pull my black velvet up thank you for the hearts you guys I so appreciate you <clears throat> Hang on. It is. This is the arm wall that I started working on on Friday Night Live. Um, for the 37 of you that are watching me on YouTube and giving me the thumbs up, I appreciate you. I'm still fairly new to YouTube, uh, but I thought we could just go ahead and go live with our stream while we're here too. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to start back with the, with the Bohemian Blue, and I'm going to grab the synthetic brush from Paint Pixie. Um, these are all brushes and paints that I retail as well. Okay, it's as you can see, it's delicious and it's teal. And come on, like who doesn't love that? Pair it with this orange, it's gonna be good. But again, this is the base coat. This is just like, hey, the color's here. So once we get this done, I'll be able to come back tomorrow and really start adding in the dimension and giving it a lot of more, a lot more character, okay? Um, so I'm gonna reactivate it with my water bottle a little. I'm not using too much, you guys. I am not really seeing your comments. What is the time length you have had that piece? I sit on pieces. So sometimes I will sit on them for six months. Guys, I just sold a piece two weeks ago that I sold, that I painted in February. So if you're in this business and that happens to you, do not feel like you're alone. You seriously just have to find the right buyer. I did not repaint it because I loved the piece. I knew it looked good. It was this color. I knew that it would find the right buyer at some point. This piece, I just decided I wasn't in love with. I know I could sit on it a little bit longer, but typically I'll wait about six months before I start re-examining it. At about four months, I will probably take new pictures. Restage it, take new pictures, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe I just didn't hit the nail on the head when I was trying to stage it, something like this. Guys, right now this looks kind of choppy. I know that, I promise. I do know that it looks kind of choppy right now. But I'm gonna come back in with the black velvet. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here too. I don't want anything to be like perfect align. Forget about it. There's no reason to have a piece that's so perfect when you're going for this design style that I am. Now, right now, I know it looks like a camo hot mess. I get it. It's all right. It's not gonna stay like this. This is just the base coat. We're gonna put another layer of color on top of it, and these colors will just be pulling through underneath, okay? I'll probably be back tomorrow for that part of it. I doubt we get all of that done tonight. But I'm gonna do this. While this is wet, I'm gonna come back in with my black velvet. So I have like this dark black teal color. And I know it looks really, it's gonna dry lighter. It almost looks black probably to you guys, but it is gonna dry a lot lighter. Then what happens is I come back with my wax. I'll probably end up putting a clear or a white wax over it. And it will end up softening and um, taking on a whole different look when you add the wax. How is everybody? I see that Q came on. Hi Q. Um, oh, she said hi to me. I didn't see her. Hi. Hi Josie. Look, I'm using the synthetic and the French tip tonight, lady. I'm 
pretty pumped about using them. I haven't, I don't use the synthetic as much. Put donuts inside, brilliant, Josie, brilliant. Put the donuts, you know what, glue the donuts to the outside of them. That'll sell anything. I, um, if you guys aren't for sure what she's talking about, I restaged a piece. I had this idea to make it a coffee bar. And I went and bought all the donuts they had left, which was only like 11. And the one sprinkles left, and then I bought all the donut, like three dozen donut holes. <clears throat> Sold that baby. Sold that baby really fast, like within two days. So now we're saying it was the donuts. So I'm just lightly pulling the black over into the bohemian blue. I know, looking like a hot mess, guys, but I didn't like the way this looked originally. Actually, I liked the way it looked. I just, it wasn't my usual colors. And although it's fun to push yourself into colors that you don't use very often, I just felt like this one needed a different look. So we're redoing it. We're gonna, we're gonna do it again. I'm not gonna make this black real heavy. I kinda like right now the way that this sandy blonde is coming through. The sandy blonde is another DIY color and I'm really kinda liking the way that it looks kind of coming through because it's more faded. And you know at the bottom of a piece of furniture, there's gonna be more natural wear, right? There's gonna be na more natural wear. Okay. And blend it in with the, the Bohemian Blue. And if I get paint on my je nice jeans and kimono, I'll be mad, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody tried the DIY paint? Better yet, has anybody not tried DIY paint and paint pixie brushes? Raise your hand. Raise it up right now so I can call you out. I meant like in a, in a nice way. So right now as I'm looking on the screen, I'm looking like this going. Thank you, Talisha. So it looks a lot better on YouTube. What they're saying, <laughs> Talisha says it looks a lot better on YouTube than it does um, on Facebook. So right now it looks like, what? Don't worry, I'm not worried. It's gonna look better, I promise. But that's good to know, Talisha, I didn't know. That is really interesting. It is a base coat and maybe the, maybe the lighting is better. Is that what you mean, Talisha, or does it actually, the piece actually just looks better? So this is black velvet, this is bohemian blue. Again, I'm still putting on the new base coat and giving this piece that did not sell a new look. I'm gonna grab my putty knife here in just a moment. We're gonna reapply, we're gonna apply a color using this. black down here underneath on the bottom. The one great thing about DIY paint is it's a clay base. That's just one of the great things. But it also has, it's very highly pigmented. So when I'm watering it and applying different layers and colors, like you really, with a lot of different paints, you have to have multiple layers, but with DIY, the coverage is so good, the pigment is so intense. But often, just one coat is all that you need. Now, I'm dry brushing. I'm gonna bring the black up over into these other colors a little bit. Just, I'm gonna keep adding more layers. But I'm also suspecting that this piece is gonna have some flowers on it, hand painted by me. It's going to have some golden ticket added to it because I can and it should have some, right? Okay, so right now I'm gonna just kind of set my brush down and hopefully I won't sit here long enough that my rear end goes numb. Right, yeah, that doesn't sound very fun for your rear end to go down. Anybody have anybody else? 15 thumbs up. I so appreciate you, you guys. 
on YouTube. You guys are so, um, I'm new there. I'm new there. I'm not new here. But thanks for being here. And I'm not seeing new comments only because I have to move the cursor, which is odd. If you've asked me a question and I missed it, I so apologize. I don't have these brushes yet. I hope Santa gets the hint. Catherine, I hope Santa gets the hint too. I hope Sandy, Santa gets the hint. Thanks for sharing with me. That's all right, Sharon. I'm so glad you're here. Um, Sharon and my group who um, created a fabulous paint finish. I gave everybody a challenge of using four colors on one piece. That was the minimum. A lot of people used many more than that. Um, but uh, Tony with Dare to Be You, or Dare to You, Dare to Be You, no. Tony Weston. Anyway, I shared it. I featured it because she won. Um, but yeah, we end up, every few weeks we do a challenge. And um, Tony ended up winning. But Sharon also participated and put on a beautiful piece of furniture. I drove to Dallas and back, so I had a lot of time to look through those. All right, so we're going to grab mint chip, which is going to look like white. But on here, it's not white. I promise. So I'm going to apply just a little bit with my petty knife. I'm going to go down the edges right here. And again, I know that you're going to look at this and go, you've got to be kidding me. You're ruining this arm wall, guys. It's going to be good, I promise. I promise. So I know this looks like white. It's going to be very faint and subtle. more subtle than it looks right here. Once you start using the putty knife, leave your brush alone or you start to muddle all your colors together and just look nasty. So once this dries, <clears throat> it'll get a soft coating with a sand block and then I'll come in with my next layer. What you're doing is you're giving a piece a very worn antiqued look, whereas it may have been painted five or six times, but the good stuff is what's left. She paints all different ways. Um, thank you, Talisha. Appreciate you. I do paint a lot of different ways. I also use the putty knife to distress naturally also, so it gives it a, um, a worn look without having to actually get out your sander. I don't think you can see from where you are, but this is just, this is just kind of, it looks like a hot, wet, just think of it like you're creating a piece of artwork. It goes through stages, okay? It goes through stages where it has bad phases. It's like those rocky teenage years where, you know, like she's wearing braces, like it's just rocky, okay? But she's gonna come out the bell of the ball. I'm gonna do a little bit more. actually not white guys I know it kind of looks that way but it's actually mint chip and that is the 
prettiest shade of mint you've ever seen. And this is all the base coat, guys. It's gonna have another layer of paint over it and sanded or scraped with my putty knife. And so there's three different colors right here. Actually, there's four different colors right here in this area that you can't see from the camera, but um, I am loving it. Oh, thank you, Paint Pixie. Josie, thank you for putting my affiliate link. I so appreciate you. Um, she is still having her um, sell. Dare to be you vintage. Sharon, thank you, sweetheart. My painting needs help. Oh, Q, I can't wait to see it. I did not, Lainey, what happened is this paint, this piece was actually painted and done and it's been on my website for a few months and it hasn't sold. And so I'm like swallowing my pride because I thought it was kind of really pretty. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna redo it. I've got another vision for it, so I'm redoing it. Um, and this is just giving it a little bit of a of a layer. And I'll probably what I'll do is I'll just come back every day, and we can work a little bit more on it. So um, I don't have a time set for tomorrow, you guys, but I will be back tomorrow, and. Um, we gotta let this dry before we mess with it anymore. And I actually have to get off of my rear before it goes numb. So I will probably need to shift down this way tomorrow or at least a little bit later. <laughs> Nothing like the truth, right? Nothing like the truth or that my back starts hurting. We can't sit on the floor like we used to. Um, but again, the colors I'm using right now are Bohemian Blue, Black Velvet, and that was mint chip. It looks like a one-eyed, one crazy, purple people eater monster right now. So don't, it's okay, I get it, I really do. It's not gonna finish looking that way. It's gonna be fabulous, I promise you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them here. Um, this is a work in progress. So um, I guess that's it, you guys. And have a wonderful night, and please join me back tomorrow, right here at the Turquoise Iris. I'm gonna end this video, and I don't remember how to do YouTube, so hang tight. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you being here. You guys go be awesome. Yeah, I don't remember what to push there. I don't see your comments anymore either. I'll have to go back and look. Thank you, Whiskey Willow.